It is a rainy day here in Colorado, as you can see out there. It's rainy. Uh, but anyway, we have some exciting news. We have a new screen coming for the Tesla Model S, which I'm in right now. It's been a little while since I've driven it. David's mainly been driving it. But I don't know. I think I've mentioned it in some videos, and you probably have seen it in some videos. We ended up getting the yellow border around the screen. While it's not really noticeable on the nighttime setting because the screen's darker, I mean, you can actually still kind of see it on the side, even in night mode. But it's not nearly as noticeable. It is very noticeable on the daytime setting just because you have the white background and you have that border all the way around it, especially on like maps and everything. So this yellow edge screen doesn't actually affect the sensitivity of the screen or using the screen. There's no loss of touch or anything over that yellow. It just doesn't look great. So that was about a year and a half ago when that actually first started happening. And it hasn't really gotten any worse. It hasn't gotten any better, that's for sure. And Tesla wasn't sure about a fix. They actually were starting to replace them and then they stopped replacing them because it was happening to replacements. I don't know. Long story short, they actually asked people with this yellow screen to wait if possible so that they could get a new revision in. So I assume they were working with their supplier to figure out what was happening. I don't know. I honestly think maybe it's like the adhesive because it's like all the way around the screen. Maybe it wasn't UV stabilized. I don't know. It could just be something wrong with the actual screen. Now it's not affecting every screen. That's the weird thing. But it is affecting some of them and we just happen to get one of them, which kind of is what it is. But yeah, so we waited and then recently, about a week and a half ago, Tesla reached out and said, hey, we have replacements, we have a new revision in, when can we do it? And they're actually gonna come to my office today and install it. We'll see what they are replacing. If they can, I'll take some pictures. I don't wanna get anybody at Tesla mobile service or anything in trouble though, so I wanna be careful. Um, but yeah, it'll be interesting to see, is it snappier? Do they replace just the front screen? Do they replace the whole like MCU? But I'm curious to know how many other people have been affected by the yellow screen. So definitely comment down below if you have, or if you've noticed anything. Another good way to check if you have it is actually to put your car into like the notepad mode because that turns almost everything white or whatever background you want. And it's really easy to see it then. So yeah, I'm gonna go do some work. And then we'll be back out when they arrive to be able to change the screen out. I love mobile service for this exact reason because I'm not home this much this week. David's gone. So it's nice that they're able to come to my office just to replace a screen. And as they said, it would be a pretty quick job. Should be fun. See how it goes. So we have a new screen in the Model S. I actually just got home. Uh, there's Mr. Model 3 and the X. Um, figured it'd just be easier to do this. And that way I can test the screen and make sure everything works properly. And it did. I didn't think it wouldn't, but it was kind of cool just to play around with it. So yeah, uh, a very nice gentleman in mobile service came out to my office to change this. I don't know any other car manufacturer that would do that. So again, I love the mobile service fleet from Tesla. I think it's a great idea. It's worked out great anytime we've needed it. So plus one for Tesla on that. So it turns out he just needed to replace the screen, touchscreen part, not all the MCU and everything behind the screen. But to do that, he had to take out the entire MCU, which means the whole dashboard had to come apart. I got to see my baby in pieces. It's been a while since I've seen a Tesla all looking like that. But it was really kind of nice. He did have like a little tent in the back of his Model S that he's actually using as his service car because it was drizzling slash raining on and off here today. So he was able to do that and keep everything safe and protected while he did the switch. But now it's working perfectly. No issues whatsoever with it. The touch functionality works just like it should. And best of all, no yellow borders. So hopefully Tesla's supplier maybe got a slap on the wrist or something for doing this to him, I would hope. Because a lot of people will think this reflects bad on Tesla, but it turns out it was one of their suppliers and it didn't happen for a year or so after you bought the car. It is what it is. Some people will try to turn it and say it's a bad car on Tesla's problem, but it's really not. I know I've mentioned this in the past, but I had a Ford Fusion Hybrid before I actually jumped over to all electric and Tesla's. And that car actually, the entire center screen, all the buttons, everything died two days after I picked it up. While yes, Ford did fix it and everything under warranty, just as they should have, 
it, any kind of car will get issues. I just want that to be known. It's all about how they fix them. And I've been super happy with how Tesla has fixed things. The mobile service fleet is a great idea and I absolutely love it where they come to you. I didn't have to take time out of my day to drive my car somewhere, get any kind of loaner, anything like that. So that's just my experience. Comment down below what you guys have done. I don't know, are you guys still waiting for the screen? If so, maybe contact your service center and see if they have any extra they could maybe allocate to you. But yeah, I guess that's kind of it. I'm super excited to get a new screen. Oh, and best of all, they were able to change the avatar to have the black arachnids that we now have on them. So that looks awesome. But yeah, I don't know, I guess that's pretty much it. Just wanted to fill you guys in on the yellow screen issue. It is being solved and everyone should be getting their new screen soon. But as always, huge thanks to Abstract Ocean for sponsoring the channel. As always, if you are looking to accessorize your Model S, X, or Model 3, definitely check out their website. Everything is linked down below using code Tesla Inventory. All one word will get you 15% off your first order. Now that I have this new screen, I am definitely going to be putting the matte screen protector on there much like I did on the model 3 I absolutely love it reduces the glare to almost nothing it looks fantastic you don't see fingerprints none of that so definitely check them out if you haven't yet definitely thumbs up if you enjoyed that video and go and comment down below what your service experience has been good or bad I would like to hear it all and we can talk about it down there especially if you've used the mobile service option because I'm a huge, huge fan of that. I've said it multiple times, but I just love the thought of it. Just is so convenient. So yeah, go ahead and comment that down below and click here to subscribe here for some other ones. And we will see you guys in the next one. And Friday is a really fun video. So make sure you stay tuned. Subscribe if you haven't. See you guys later. Bye.